Hi, my name is Stefania Van Dyke, and I'm the Associate Director of Interpretive Engagement at the Denver Art Museum, and today I'm going to talk to you about writing a label for your child's artwork. Um, so once you have chosen the perfect artwork to write about, the first order of business is to identify the basic information about the artwork. We call that the tombstone because it basically holds the essential biography of the artwork. So that's the artist's name, their nationality and life dates, the title of the artwork, the year it was made, the material it's made of, and the credit line, which I'll explain in a sec. Um, so for Leo, um, it's pretty easy for me because he's my son. So I know his name, his nationality, and his birth date. He himself titled this picture, Buildings of NY City, which um, sometimes artists title them themselves and sometimes galleries or owners or collectors or museums title artworks. In this case, he did it. Um, and I know he did it in 2018 because of a note on the back of the picture. And sometimes for the medium, the next line, sometimes technical analysis is required in order to figure out what an artwork was made of. But in this case, I know that Leo did it in third grade at his elementary school and they use non-toxic paint. And I could tell it was on paper pretty easily. Finally, the credit line is the, um, the line at the bottom that tells you how the artwork came into the collection. So in this case, it's my collection and he gave it to me. So it's a gift of the artist. And normally in a museum, you would have an accession number there, which is the inventory number. Each artwork in the collection gets a unique number to keep track of it. I do not have a database for my child's artwork, my children's artwork, and I do not plan on creating one. So we do not have a, an accession number. Now, if you want to write an extended text, which is the information in the label that gives you kind of a narrative or a context or information about the artwork, um, the publications director at the D Denver Art Museum and I have some tips for you. The first one is the most important. So since this is your child whose artwork you're uh, writing a label about, you have access to the artist. So direct access to an artist is a great asset. And um, it, interviewing the artist or talking to them about the artwork um, helps the writer, uh, you know, in this case me, not make assumptions about what they were thinking about when they made the artwork um, and what their intent was. And here, Leo made this two years ago. Um, he was nine or even eight at the time. So he doesn't really remember all the details of why he made this or what inspired him, but um, he did remember a few things. So I was able to piece together um, a label that I will read for you in a minute. But if you do want to interview your child um, to find out some information about the artist and the artwork, here are a few questions you could ask. Like, what, are you, what were you thinking about when you made this artwork? Did something special inspire you? Or were you thinking about something special that um, led you to make this particular artwork or this subject? Um, why did you pick those particular colors to, to um, depict the artwork or some other sort of medium question about why did you pick clay or make that shape? Um, and you can also ask about specific details, what's going on in this corner over here, for example. So piecing all that together, um, here are a few other pointers to keep in mind. Start with something you can see and that engages the reader with the artwork. So it's act actively connecting the reader to the artwork. Then um, include something about the artist's inspiration if you know it or some context about how the work was created. And then finally give viewers and readers something to think about. So I was able to put it all together and write this label that I'll read to you now. In this cityscape, Leo Van Dyke shows us a dreary yet brightly dotted sky above candy-colored, gravity-defying skyscrapers. Van Dyke, who lives in Colorado, made this painting after visiting Manhattan. At bottom left, faceless occupants go about their tasks in the cramped apartments. We don't know what, what they are feeling, but we get a hint of happiness from a single smile in the window on the cat's face. And there's the detail to show you the cat um, on the upper right. So basically here it is all together, the tombstone on the left and the extended text on the right. Just keep in mind when you're printing your label at home to display um, for everyone to come and see and read 
Um, keep in mind font size and color contrast. Font size, like bigger so people can read it and color contrast, um, again, so for easy legibility, black ink on white paper is the easiest to read, but that might not fit with your aesthetic. So you do the best you can. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you will share your label that you write about your child's artwork. Tag um, at Denver Art Museum and hashtag behind the scenes dam. Thank you so much.